your boy King Brando. What's up, Brando fam? How you doing? How you enjoying the weather? It's starting to feel like uh, spring and summer and all the everything. Yeah, the weather finally starting to break. Uh, I got a treat for y'all today. We have the anime review, I mean reaction or whatever. And then we have the regular reactions that we do every day. So right now we have the top 10 animes that um, everybody needs to watch. So I'm really thinking that they're going to, I'm, I'm, here's my prediction. They're going to have these three animes, okay? They're going to have, uh, they're going to have Hunter x Hunter because everybody needs to watch that in my opinion because that's my favorite. They're going to have Naruto because who don't watch Naruto? They're going to have Dragon Ball Z. Uh, things that they probably gonna have, they probably gonna have like One Piece, um, and now My Hero Academia, cause I hear a lot of people talking about that, Fairy Tale, uh, what else, um, yeah, Tokyo Ghoul probably, I don't know, uh, or it's probably just Sailor Moon, yeah, Sailor Moon was a really popular, uh, anime in your washer too, so I don't know, it's a lot of stuff that you can really probably see on here, um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm excited to see what their list is, okay? I'm excited to see what their list is, but yeah, let's go. What's up, y'all? Um, I'm going to put a time where you guys can skip to the actual video if you don't want to hear this. This is for my OG uh, Brando fan people, my OG people who support King Brando. I told y'all I wanted to do this a long time ago. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to start doing it like whenever you guys start sending me the stuff. So, um, I want to do this thing on the channel where... You guys send me questions and stuff about life and like if you need advice and stuff like that. You guys send me questions through like the messages or you can DM me on social medias and stuff like that. You can email me or whatever like however you get in contact with me. Yeah, uh, you can send me questions that you have about life and like if you need advice and stuff like that because I want to I wanna answer them on the channel and I want to you know give advice because I feel like you know it's a lot of times where, you know, we need other people's opinions on situations and how we would deal with them. So you can send me uh, questions and stuff about relationships and stuff, about uh, life, about uh, school, about anything. Um, and we're going to talk about it, y'all. We're going to have a dialogue. Um, and it's going to be lit. Um, and I'll try to make it as, you know, as good as I can. Um, yeah, so just if you want to, uh, this is for the OG people who really, you know, support me, who really, you know, uh, look out for me and really, really like, um, are really engaged in the channel and all that. Uh, send me questions you have about, uh, anything, um, but not like personal questions. It's not like a Q&A, but yeah, send me questions and, um, yeah, back to the video. <laughs> yeah. What you finna do? What you finna do? Check out Crunchyroll to watch some of the anime. Check out Crunchyroll and all that stuff. But uh, we going back to right back here. Yeah. Featuring yeah. this video and support the creators in Japan. New to anime? We got you covered. I'm not new, but welcome to watch. I'm not as informed as I want to be. Our picks for the top ten anime that mm. everyone needs to watch. <laughs> this list, we'll be counting down both anime Dragon Ball Z. and films that even the most casual of fans should check out. We're basing our choices on their accessibility, overall impact, and what they bring to the fray. Oh, we show us mind recognizes no limits, neither does his reach. <laughs> Number 10, Fate Zero. What's that? <laughs> Now, trying to explain the Fate series to an outsider might seem like a Herculean labor in itself, giving the series fondness for playing around with its own timelines. But if we had to recommend an entry from the franchise, it would hey, be we saw this uh, anime on one of the previous videos. Not only do you get some truly compelling characters who happen to be inspired by some of history's greatest icons, but some stellar fight scenes that bring a new meaning to the phrase culture clash. From the noble saber, insatiable rider, villainous archer, and disturbing caster, each is bringing a piece of history with them, as well as some breathtaking noble phantasms. <laughs> this before, but I never like watched it. I never really paid attention to it. But I heard of this anime before. And character study, 
the inhabitants of Ikebukuro are truly some of the Why is he so black? Faces, while you do have your typical young leads who act as our catalyst to this rather violent city, we have to turn your attention to the following. Shizuo Hiwajima, a man so strong that he can send whole gangs flying with just one punch. Like one punch man. Whoa, he never just punched him out of his clothes. He's a For real? Rachel broker who lives to piss Shizuo off. And Selfie Sterlison, a sweet and sensual woman with a love of motorbikes who happens to be missing a hen. Did we mention that this show is the best kind of weird? What the hell are you? Show got a head? Show got a head? Number eight, Usagi Drop. Man, what are animes I know about? <laughs> are you desperately in need of that fuzzy feeling? Well, prepare yourself for a treat. Moranji Kuruka. This story of fatherhood follows the rather unremarkable Daikichi Kawachi as his aimless life is given a new purpose when he chooses to adopt Rin, the supposed illegitimate daughter of his grandfather. With Daikichi and Rin's cuteness complementing each other seamlessly, the trials, tribulations, and triumphs these two strangers go through are bound to have your soul sink. That's by the sweet. Role. I will watch that just because of the uh, plot of it. Number seven. One Punch Man. I forgot, I forgot about, I forgot about One Punch Man. This dude is amazing. One Punch Man. Give us some more seasons, cause this dude is freaking amazing. Hero so powerful that it he's so wrong. Powerful. Well, we have just the thing. As the titular One Punch Man, Saitama is a costume hero who lives up to his nickname by defeating every opponent he comes across with a single blow. Huh? You would have thought that this would get rather stale after a while, but by breaking the hey, you he worked out so hard, he lost all his hair. Of solid comedy that was so and fun. visuals, not to mention increasingly crazy supervillains for Saitama to battle, the premise works like a charm. We'd also recommend watching the likes of Mob Psycho 100 if you want to see more from the same creator. Mm -hmm. Number six, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now this come on a dark one. I was gonna check it out, but it was too far ahead. Yeah, I was gonna check this anime out. Too far ahead. Might as well watch it online. Transcending time, themes, and even logic, the misadventures of our multi-generational protagonist, who happen to share the name of JoJo, offer a strange blend of some truly bizarre fight scenes, Western inspiration, and outrageous comedy. Though the series is over 20 years old, it's only met worldwide acclaim recently after the anime adaptation was released. One thing's for sure, you won't be able to hear the words ora, 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 after this without wincing. <laughs> Number 5, Akira. Well, I saw the movie for this. This movie, I'm telling you, this movie was so raw. This is so wrong. Check that out. This movie, amazing to me. Citywide destruction and psychological horror all wrapped up in a cyberpunk package set in a dystopian future. Count us in. In what many consider to be one of the greatest sci-fi films of all time, we're to For real? A Told you. onslaught of gang violence blended together with psychic warfare as two former friends, Kaneda and Tetsuo, end up on opposite sides due to Tetsuo's awakened psychic powers, both beautiful and gruesome in its presentation. Mm. It's easy to see how this classic has withstood the test of time. Tetsuo! Number four, Gurren Lagan. <laughs> Dang, now we back to stuff I don't know about. <laughs> It's no secret that there are a ridiculous amounts of mecha anime out there. Though, to be honest, who doesn't love seeing giant robots pull the crap out of each other? But, if you're hungry for spectacle and also want an engaging cast to keep you invested, then your best bet is to stick with Team Dai Gurren. Just who in the hell do you think we are? Not only do the mechas eventually end up becoming bigger than the size of whole galaxies, but what you the? the manliest men in all of anime leading the charge. Wait. You don't know about Kamina? Just who the hell do you think I am? I don't. Number three, Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. Hold on. Nope, I haven't heard of it. I thought I heard of it, but nope. What could be cooler than following a group of dysfunctional bounty hunters as they end up running and gunning their way out of one impossible situation to the next? How about setting the whole thing in space? Pretty cool, huh? 
Whether you're a fan of gritty slugfests or everything sci-fi, the less than diplomatic exploits of the Bebop crew never fail to hit their mark. And Danny, get us started. Not the sweat off him. Everything from Ed's eccentricity, Jet's rough sincerity, Faye's femme fatale persona, and of course, Spike's outwardly swollen guise that only hides a bloody, tragic past. Be prepared to go through the emotional ringer on this one, folks. Yeah, I know. I know the whole sad story. Number two, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Someday soon, I'm coming back for you! Don't just come on on Cartoon Network, too! While the original series is definitely worthy of merit, we feel that its later incarnation is the superior series. Led by the determined yet broken Elric brothers, the narrative follows a huge roster of characters who use the art of alchemy to try and protect, reshape, or destroy the world as they know it. <laughs> I was gonna ask what is alchemy, but I just looked that up. Transmutation. Not only are you getting a top-notch story and wild action scenes thanks to the incorporation of transmutation, but you mm. also find yourself encountering some rather heavy subject matter: religion, militarism, genocide, family sacrifice, and revenge all permeate the series from the get-go. So rest assured. See, this is why we love anime, cause it's it's just like TV on steroids. And it knows when to bring the smiles and when to go into the darkest places of the human experience. <laughs> Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Why did that just come out of his forehead? I don't believe it. Thermoptic camouflage. <laughs> Neon Genesis Evangelion. Neon Genesis. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. In this whole city. But since this is number one, I'm gonna check it out. This is your home now. Don't be quick to dismiss this one as another young hero pilots giant robot and defeats aliens anime. Huh? Because the depth of the conflict surrounding this particular series is almost legendary. As we follow our protagonist Shinji through his struggles against the cosmic threat known as the Angels, we are bombarded with religious symbolism, Dang. depths of human depravity, more bloodshed and death than we know what to do with, and various endings that have caused everything from praise to confusion to outrage. That kind of put Hunter Hunter on this, man. I don't care. Uncompromising narrative or hate it for its complexity. Whatever your views may be, we highly recommend that you take a gander at it and choose for yourself. No! Should have had that on there. What do you think is the anime that everybody needs to see? If you think I'll let you get away with this? Ooh. You're an idiot! With new top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Okay. Finna give y'all a list. Finna give y'all a list. Well, not my full list, but I'm gonna I'm give y'all a little bit some more. Because I already named out six, okay? I agree with the ghost in the shell, so that makes seven. Uh, and then it's an anime called Parasite. Y'all need to watch that. I'm mad it was only one season. So that's eight. And then, uh, dang, what's some other ones? What's some... All right, Kill the Kill. Okay, that's one. Uh, that's nine. And then, um, what's another one that I watch? Mmm. I don't know. We'll just leave it at nine. But yeah, I gave y'all nine. Y'all see my list? My list is lit. It's so lit, bro. It's like... Lit, gets litter every day because I the more I watch these the more I'll be like dang be thinking of anime that I watched when I was a kid and then bring back memories but yeah I hope y'all like that make sure if you return it to the channel to like this video and comment other stuff you want me to do on the channel uh if you're new to the channel gotta get up close and personal with you because you gotta do this thing called the three clicks easiest thing you're gonna do in your life man you already didn't watch this video up to now so you might as well do it so I'm just I'm just telling you right now do the three clicks. You just gotta like the video, hit that subscribe button, and hit them post notifications. Easiest thing you gonna do. Easiest thing. I, I have nothing else to tell you. Yeah, but other than it's been your boy King Brando and peace, man. Peace.